my family and I are currently on a 10-day Switzerland trip. I just wanted to document it, share any tips, tricks, thoughts, feelings with you guys about my travels here. So stay tuned. <laughs> so day one, we arrive in Zurich, Switzerland from the US and our actual stay is in St. Gallen, which is about an hour train away from Zurich. We bought this Swiss travel pass for 15 days, which only based on like my first day of being here is very convenient. It essentially allows travel in Switzerland through buses, trains, and other public transport. It really got us to all the destinations we wanted to go to. For example, when we arrived in Zurich and had to go to St. Gallen one hour away, the Swiss travel pass and all this access to the trains here, all we had to do was go on Google Maps, type in our uh, two destinations. It would give us this step-by-step -step navigation guide on which train to take where, what platform to find the trains at, what time the train leaves, and how to connect to other trains in order to most efficiently reach your destination. So that's definitely something I'll be using in the future. The B&B hotel where we're staying is very conveniently located, just a two minute walk to the nearest station, the St. Gallen St. Vitus station. And so if you're looking for somewhere to stay, this might be a good option. The location and lobby was very neat and had this minimalistic style, which I really like. And our rooms had everything you really need for a one night stop. You enter with a six digit code and then the bathroom had Nice lighting, a mirror, I really loved the shower, a toilet, a sink, all the essentials. Then there's this full body mirror, TV, a desk in the corner. The beds were really cute as you can see, but they were just a little bit moist, which um, did not really meet my comfort needs, but just for one night, it wasn't terrible. And then there's this huge window uh, with the press of a button, gives us this amazing view. This was definitely the highlight of the room for me. Our adventure for the day was going up to Evanault Mountain and also exploring this small town of Eppenzell. For Evanol, we just took a train up there and we took this cable car gondola ride up the mountain. Once we reached there, it was just like super gorgeous. And we walked just 15 minutes down to this restaurant called Asher and along the way we saw some cows, this cave, and we also saw just stunning views in general. At the restaurant, the food and the vibes were just amazing. Where are so we? this is a restaurant that's literally like hanging off a mountain. And um, it's really cool. We happen to be outside the restaurant right now. Whoa, which wait, wait. Ge like, guess what this is in the comments. Yeah. It's a cloud. <laughs> yes. We're in the middle of a cloud. Um, but the food here is like really good. We ordered some like, uh, kind of like a quiche type of thing. And they also have a bunch of sweets too. Afterwards, we took a short train ride over to this little town called Eppenzell that someone recommended we see. Um, especially at this time because there was, there's this like three day yodeling festival going on. So honestly, like as soon as I reached there, my first reaction was like Disneyland because you know the structure of all the buildings the food stands the crowds the narrow roads and then there were a ton of people dressed up and there were these groups like doing these performances it just like really made it feel like some sort of theme park and i really recommend visiting and then we came back to the hotel and that's our day one I hope you liked all the tricks and tips and um, stay tuned for the next nine days. Bye.